C-E-O. C-E-O. Come on. Once was outside and now we worldwide. C-E-O. Come on. Once told to hide, but you can't deny it. C-E-O. Come on. The dream took some time, but now we on the rise. C-E-O. Come on. If we unify, the squad will never die. Hey, Jamal here, and welcome back. Today's video is a review of two new bags, a cross sling bag and a backpack that is replacing the infamous and one of the most popular uh, backpacks that you'll ever see at any esports event or FGC event is the Astro Scout backpack. I still have my old one. This traveled with me for a good three, four years. I was able to fit a fight stick, a laptop, some clothing, it expands really well. But this and how you've been seeing a lot of gaming lifestyle crossovers with some major companies is the future. And I think this is gonna be a super popular bag. Now, Astro Gaming is a presenting sponsor of all my CEO gaming events for the last few years, including the upcoming one this hopeful December. And they were able to send these to me a couple weeks ago and I was able to actually take it for a test run when I went over to Los Angeles for a couple days for some work meetings with DreamHack and ESL. But now this is a crossover between Timbuktu, which is a very, very famous and uh, super popular, a little bit on the high end, but you're gonna get total quality out of these bags uh, and any of the Timbuktu uh, quality bags. And really excited about this one for everyone else to get their hands on, be able to order them. Kind of a breakdown for these. These are actually waterproof. I wouldn't dip them in water, obviously, but everything is nicely uh, you know, secured. Um, they are actually calling this the BP35 Gaming Backpack. This is gonna be going for $199.99 when it releases. Now this sling bag as well, I believe will be going for $79.99. Now if you get them as a bundle from the Astro Gaming website when this does go live, uh, it'll be $250. So you're gonna be saving about $30 if you buy both. Now sling bags, you can do this over the shoulder, you can do it around your waist. Um, this is great, this is built for your Switch, but this is the bad boy right here, the Timbuktu Astro Gaming Crossover Backpack. And to kind of give you an idea, I actually have this stuff with just about everything I just traveled with over to uh, Los Angeles on a, uh, you know, it was a five hour flight each way, took this and a carry on uh, for some clothes, but you can fit a lot in this. Now, if you're a stick player, you're not gonna be able to fit a giant stick in here. I could fit an obsidian, you'll see later in this opening, uh, but really cool bag, high quality, but you know, when you get a bag and you travel a lot as we're hopefully gonna be able to soon for events, you want something that's gonna last. These zippers are all quality. We'll do some close-ups for you, but really like this bag. So I'm gonna start off with the backpack itself. Again, it goes for $199 when it does release. Worth every penny. If you have the money to spend it, you're gonna enjoy this bag. You're gonna to wanna to take it everywhere with you. It's a quality bag. I actually got compliments on it at the airport with just how uh, sleek it is. You know, the black on black all across the board. Uh, it gets really thin too if you don't have it as packed as I do, but I hope you enjoy this. Um, so let me show you everything I was able to take into that and then I'm gonna fit some stuff into the cross sling bag for you But tons of pockets. You got one pocket back here. This is mostly for a laptop. You can fit up to a 16 inch laptop I could not fit my 17 inch MSI. It was very Barely able to close on that so I wouldn't recommend it uh, But you can fit up, you know 15 16 inch comfortably then you have another laptop sleeve in this one and then you've got another front sleeve that fits a bunch of stuff. And then you got two hidden compartments here. So really cool stuff. But I'm going to go one by one and kind of show you everything that I would normally take with me on a trip. And you might actually learn some cool little uh, uh, tools that I take with me to make all my trips super uh, you know, simple, have everything I need from a charging standpoint and all that. So first, magnetic latching cover right here. So you gotta like you gotta put some force in it so it closes really well. Now a lot of bags they start to have these hooks. You can kind of put either pins on them um, or you know kind of hook something in with a ring. This also comes up a little bit. Then you've got this to kind of tie something to it. So I just basically have it there. But in this pocket, I have your mask. Stay masked up and stay safe. So we'll put that right there. I also carry with me. You guys are gonna love this. My PS Vita, uh, recently modded. I'll stop right there. But this has everything you need to kind of enjoy the trip. Uh, so I've been traveling with my Vita, uh, enjoying more of that. And that's pretty much in here, but you know, you can fit something like your wallet, your keys, stuff like that. Um, and then here, two front pockets, right? So this is my favorite. So right up in this one, I'm going to have my wallet, right? So I like to travel light with my wallet, my cash and everything's in here. Good luck getting out of that in my hands. My car keys, so when I'm parking, boom, you got car keys right there. Let's see what else I have in this pocket. All right, so that's all I put in there, but this goes all the way across and goes underneath this. Now for the other side. 
I have a little CO uh, scratch pad, kind of write down notes, any ideas I have while I'm on a flight or on the go. So we've got that right there. My AirPods Pro with a nice little Kingdom Hearts case. I got this from the Square Enix store, so uh, big Kingdom Hearts, Square Enix, Final Fantasy fan, so I had to grab that. Also, this now, this is a little cool trip. You can get these wallets for dirt cheap. I've got my passport, my vaccination card. Get vaccinated, please, so we can start having all our events safely. So that's the two front little mini pockets, right? I stuffed this as much as I could just to give you guys a realistic idea of what you can fit. Now, what's really cool is, is this uh, little headphone compartment. This comes up. But if you have any, most the majority of Astros, they'll fall flat. This is an older model. This is actually noise canceling, one of my favorite headsets. It's it's small, it's portable, uh, wireless. So Astro, please bring these back or in a new form if you can. But you can kind of put those there. Me personally, I'd rather carry them in a case, but very cool idea, forward thinking idea right here. You got a couple pen slots right there. In here, you would put your phone, you know, I uh, have an extra phone right here. So I have a card case, my Pokemon business card case. Put it in your phone. That's an iPhone uh, 10, uh, 10. So you can fit anything pretty much up into like a six inch phone and stuff. So is there a tablet spot? There are a few, but got hand sanitizer, portable battery just in case you run out of juice on the go. Always carry a pack of gum with me. Hand sanitizer, can never be too safe, but a couple extra pockets there. More hand sanitizer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got lip balm in the form of a little ball. So just in case you go to those cold or dry areas. Um, but that's pretty much the front, so everything can fit in there, right? Let's close that up. Let's go to the next slot. So boom. So I happen to have a copy of Half-Life 2 PC Disc Edition. So take that with me everywhere I go as a good luck charm in hopes of Half-Life 3. I've got my Astro bag, so you can definitely fit some clothes in here. Uh, this is my Astro Custom Tekken jacket. Shout outs to Namco. Keep going. My Nintendo Switch was able to fit my entire Switch within another case. And that's what's cool. I'm going to show you that the Switch, basically these sling bags are built for the Switch. A lot of people are carrying their Switch these days, which is really cool. So I've got this entire bag, was able to fit in there. I'm out of space for my desk. So charging cable for my big MSI laptop, which I was able to fit in this pocket here. So you got a couple more sleeves here. You got this right here. Hand sanitizer. <laughs> And so as you can tell, I have more pockets I didn't even fill. So you can fill up a ton of more pockets. Then you've got right here my 17-inch MSI GS75 gaming laptop. These are for my longer trips, so when I'm gone for a while, I like to game on the go. Uh, can't wait for the Steam Deck later this year. So, And then you can tell this bag's starting to get really slim profile. So you don't have to pack as much as I am, but just looking at that space, you've got so much space in there, it's great. Actually, on my last trip, I took some pre-workout and one of the <laughs> little packets bursted, so... But you got two sleeves, so you could probably fit like a 10-inch uh, tablet of any kind in here. So there's that pocket, and then we still got one more. Got my little MacBook Air Pro, the M1. This is one of the greatest laptops you can buy for under $1,000 if you just need basic video editing. This is actually where I edit most of these videos that you watch um, through that. So I was able to carry two laptops, right, 17-inch uh, and the 13-inch uh, MacBook M1. So that's all the main compartments. As you can see, there's still room for more, but this is a lot of shit. <laughs> um, two more pockets. So you got the side ones. Now the thing I didn't like about the Astro backpack, uh, the Scout was you had an open kind of mesh, mesh area, but your water bottles would always fall out if there's a bigger bottle. Then nothing on this side. Now we've got two sides. So on this side right here, nice closed compartment, totally waterproof. Nice little CO water bottle. Got to stay hydrated. So there's that. Uh, has two more little pockets in there. You can slide some pens. So they thought of everything. This this is, like I said, one of the best bags you're going to buy. Then on this side, I have all my charging cables I like to carry. So I have a PS Vita cable, a 3-in-1 USB-C, micro USB, and lightning cable. And then I have one of my most recommended devices I take anywhere. It's a travel charger, which works in any country that you pretty much can think of. Europe, I've been to Australia with this, India, Asia. Um, so, and you know, it works great. It even has a, you push this button, push it goes back in. It even has a USA. So you can actually don't even have to travel to use it. One USB-C port that charges and three USB-A's. So I take this, my friends will kind of charge into it when I'm at an event working at the desk. Um, so very cool, but yeah, that is pretty much the Timbuktu Astro backpack. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything you can carry in there. You know, you don't have to pack as much as I did. You can pack lighter, but you can kind of see super fitting, super comfortable. You can loosen it up a bit. So kind of give you an idea. 
And then my favorite is if you're ever running through airports, you can just basically put this clip through and then boom, nice, much nicer, tighter fit. So super light, uh, very comfortable bag. If you remember the Astro Scout bag, super duper comfortable. So that's the bag for you. I will show you a little breakdown of the bag itself, but this was my, you know, review of the Astro Timbuktu backpack. As for the Timbuktu sling bag, it's got a couple pockets. They come with nice little quality uh, tags that explains everything that they have. Uh, another magnetic clip. So this actually will fit also my Vita in the front pocket if you wanted. So Vita there, you've got another bag here. Here I would probably put, let's see, keys, wallet, passport, right? So boom, there's that. You have a nice back pocket back here, which is really cool. This is a little bit thinner. You can't fit too much in there, but I would probably put like a hand sanitizer or let's say that, see you lip balm. Um, and then all your charges could probably fit in there. And then you have the big pocket here, right here. So, and this is pretty much where you're gonna put everything. So let us take out my switch, see how that fits. So switch can actually perfectly go inside even with the Joy-Cons attached. You actually have all these little sleeves right here. Let me pull out a game to show you. So great sling bag, $80. You know, if you want a good quality sling bag, I, I, I have way too many from travels. Um, you're going to get good quality ones from like 50 to hundred bucks. Sometimes in the higher range, if you want something kind of goes, uh, like a coach bag or something like that. But for the amount of storage you get in this, the perfect comfort it fits around your waist is pretty cool. But yeah, you can fit, uh, looks like 16 games in here. You can fit either extra joy cons. These parts stretch right here. So uh, I think it's cool. And then it has a little padding here. Probably, you know what? Looks like you can fit a Joy-Con on each side. So switch bag, let me just close it up for you. You got a great, it's the quality, right? It's the little details that they've done on this bag. And I'll show you some close-ups of everything. But T2 AG is all over this, Astro Gaming and Timbuktu. Um, and then even the little zippers have these nice little, uh, it looks like an octagon uh, with their logos as well on those. So, and then from here, but. There you have it. Pretty much stuffed these as much as I could so you guys can check them out. Again, Astro Gaming, visit them. Their link will be below. Uh, stay safe if you get to travel. And again, I hope you enjoyed my little uh, rundown and I'll do some close-ups for you to enjoy. But until next time, Jubilee out. Thank you. CEO, come on. Once was outside and now we worldwide. CEO, come on. Once told the high.